In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can add music to your Roblox game in Roblox Studio. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to say, please make sure you pay close attention and watch the end to ensure you get every step correct and you don't miss anything out. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing we actually need to do is we need to come onto roblox.com and ensure that we are signed into our account. So you can see I am signed in here. Now, once we've gone to our account here, what we need to do is we need to go up to the top and click on create. Now, once we've gone into create, it's going to show us our experiences and we need to find the experience we want to add music to. In this case, I'm just going to go click on this one, Untitled Game. I'm going to click this little Edit in Studio button and I'm going to click Open Roblox. So this should open the Roblox Studio and you should be able to get right into the editing. So it gives us a few seconds to load in and here we are. We are the ready Roblox to go. So once we've opened Roblox up and we've got our world here, we want to actually go over to the right and go to the Explorer section. Now we need to go up to Workspace here and just click this little drop down button here. And from here we need to press this little plus icon next to Workspace. Click that there. And in this little box we need to type in sound. Click this here and it should add a sound thing to your world. So now that we've done that we actually need to go back to the Roblox website on Chrome or whatever. Okay, so now that we're on Google and we're back onto the Roblox website, we need to make sure we're back on the same page we're on before. So just go to Roblox and then go to uh, the Create section. Now, once we're in here, we need to actually go to the top where it says Marketplace and click on that there. There we go. So the Marketplace is basically where people can list um, lots of different items um, that you can use and sometimes they sell them. And what we want to do from here is we want to go over to where it says Audio up here. Now, once we're in Audio, we can go um, over here and we can just browse for the different things we want. So do we want um, something by genre? Do we want it by vibes? Do we want sound effects? Do we want trending? Essentials? So it really depends on what you're looking for. So if you want some kind of ambience for your game, you might go into the genre ambient. And what you can do here is you can actually go down and listen to all the different sounds. So this is calm space. This is just like a calming sound. This could be good for, I don't know, some kind of game. Basically just go down and listen to them until you find one that you like. This one's quite cool. So once we found the one that we actually think is going to be good for our game, we want to go over here and click on get audio like this. Now from here, what you want to do is click more info like this button here, and it should take you to the page for the audio itself. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the top in the URL bar and there should be some numbers here. So you can see it says creator, roblox.com, marketplace, asset, and then it has this bit of numbers. So you want to double click on these numbers here and copy them. Make sure you don't include the slashes. Now that we've got that, we need to go and open up Roblox Studio again and go back into the right where we have sound and we need to put the sound into the uh, URL or the numbers we got into here. So we want to scroll through here and it's in here somewhere sound ID so basically this is where you're going to put it so double click on this box here, it'll be empty and then you need to paste in the ID that you just got like that so that is the sound ID so now it should pop up with the uh, song it will tell you the length just press this little preview button to make sure it's the right one Yep, that's the right one. So now that we've got that right, we know that the sound's in here. So also you want to scroll down onto the playback settings and you'll probably want to turn on loop. So loop basically means once the track ends, it will start again from the beginning on repeat over and over again. So you can either have that on or off, it's really up to you. Now you can change other settings here, volume, playback speed, that kind of stuff. But um, I'm just gonna teach you the basics and now I'm gonna teach you the next step. So next you want to go up here onto server script service and you want to tap on the add sign here and you want to go, to go down and add a script. Now it should open up something that looks like this. So now inside this script what we want to do is we want to remove this um, thing that's already in here. It will say print hello world and you want to type in game dot workspace. Make sure you have a, a capital uh, W dot sound with a capital S dot play sorry my bad you need to put a colon after sound so sound colon play like that and then you can hit an enter and it should look like this so make sure it also has the colon so it's game dot workspace 
dot sound colon play just like that and that's basically all the code you need to do for that pretty easy so now we can actually close this here and this and now we can actually press play onto our game and we will see if it works so it's loading in and yep i can hear the sound that's basically how you would go about doing it so if you found this video useful and you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it did help so that other people watching the video knows this is a good tutorial. Thank you for watching.